I'd like to say great day to the brilliant audience. Welcome to Walking in the Spirit. I am Dr. Stefan Williams and I will be your host for today's program. We're going to continue on with our series entitled, Parenting of the House of Yahweh Revealed to King David. And those of you that are viewing this broadcast today, I would like for you to get out your Bibles, your notebooks, your pens, your pencils, your highlighters, and study with us. Let's continue on with the series. You can get back up to my temple, yes? You know what the temple is? You got it? Side, not outside of it. Let's continue on. We want to focus on number one, the oracle or most holy place. The oracle is the top portion of the temple, which is set out here on Mount, on Mount Moriah. Here you see it here, and the most holy place was the top uh, compartment in the tabernacle. The most holy place in the oracle correlates with one to another. Okay? So it says, the oracle or the most holy place was 20 cubits every way. I need a rare reader please. First Kings, the sixth chapter, Verses 15 and the 20 verses. First Kings 6, 15 and 20 from the Holy Name Bible. And he built the walls of the house within with boards and cedar, both the floor and of the house and the walls of the ceiling. And he covered them on the inside with wood and covered the floor of the house with planks of fur. And the oracle of and the oracle in the four place was twenty cubits in length and twenty cubits in beneath and twenty cubits in height thereof. And he overlaid it with pure gold and he covered the altar which was the of cedar. Thank you, reader. Did you read clear? Be clear. Every word, everything you say is clear. Thank you, reader. It says the floor and walls were covered with cedar and fir wood, overlaid with gold. Walls were carved with cherubims, palm trees, and open flowers. I need a rare reader, please. First Kings, the sixth chapter, verses 29 and, 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 and the 30th verses. First Kings 6. 29 and 30 from the Holy Name Bible. And he carved them, and he carved all the walls of the house around about with carved figures and cherubims and palm trees and open flowers within and without. And the floor of the house was overlaid with gold within and without. Thank you, reader. It says, the double doors and post entering the oracle forming a fifth part of the wall were of olive wood overlaid with gold carved with cherubims palm trees and open flowers I need read reader please first kings the sixth chapter verses 31 and 32 verses 1 Kings 6, 31 and 32 from the Holy Name Bible. And for the entering of the oracle, he made doors of olive trees and lintel and side posts were, were a fifth part of the wall. The, the two doors were also were of olive tree, and he carved upon them carvings of cherubims and palm trees and open flowers and overlaid them with gold and spread gold upon the cherubims and upon the palm trees. 
Thank you, reader. It says, the remainder, a partition of gold chains. I need a red reader, please. First Kings, the sixth chapter, in the twenty-first verse. First Kings six and twenty-one, out of the Holy Name Bible. So Solomon overlaid the house within with pure gold, and he made a partition by the chains of gold before the oracle, and he overlaid it with gold. Thank you, reader. It says. And the beautiful blue, purple, and crimson colored fine linen veil lavishly embellished with angelic figures separating the oracle or most holy place were the same golden, excuse me, or most holy place from the sanctuary or holy place. I need a red reader, please. Second Chronicles, the third chapter, in verse 14. Second Chronicles 3 and 14 from the Holy Name Bible. And he made the veil of blue and purple crimson and fine linen and wrought cherubims thereon. Thank you, reader. It says, the contents of the most holy place which is also uh, called the oracle. The contents of the most holy place or oracle were the same golden ark of the covenant which formerly occupied the most holy place in the tabernacle. The same table of stone engraved with the law were, were still within the ark. I'll be reading 2 Chronicles, the 5th chapter, verses 5 through 10 from the Holy Name Bible. It says, And they brought up the ark and the meeting tent of the congregation and all the holy vessels that were in the tabernacle. These did the priests and Levites bring up also King Solomon and all the congregation of Israel that were assembled unto him before the ark sacrificed sheep and oxen which could not be told nor numbered for the multitude. And the priest brought in the ark of the covenant of Yahweh unto his place to the inner sanctuary of the house and to the most holy place even under the wings of the cherubims. For the cherubims spread forth their wings over the place of the ark, and the cherubims covered the ark and the staffs of the stalls thereof above. And they drew out the stalls of the ark, that the ends of the staffs were seen from the ark before the inner sanctuary, but they were not seen without, and there it is until this day. There was nothing in the ark save the two tables which Moses put therein in Horeb when Yahweh made a covenant with the children of Israel when they came out of Egypt. It says, There were two standing cherubims, each ten cubits high, made of olive wood, overlaid with gold, one facing the other at each end of the ark. Together they had a long wing expansion of twenty cubits. One wing of each cherub extended backward overhead, touching the wall of their respective sides. The other wing of each cherub extended forward, meeting each in the center of the ark and overshadowing the mercy seat thereon. And I'll be reading 
1 Kings, the 6th chapter, verses 23 through the 28th verse from the Holy Name Bible, it says, And within the oracle he made two cherubims of olive tree, each ten cubits high. And five cubits was the one wing of the cherub, and five cubits the other wing of the cherub, from the uttermost part of the one wing unto the uttermost part of the other wing, ten cubits. And the other, and the other cherub was ten cubits, both the cherubims, were of one measure in one size. The height of one cherub was ten cubits, and so and so was it of the other cherub. And he set the cherubims within the inner house, and they stretched forth the wings of the cherubims, so that the wing of the so that the wing so that the wing of one touched the one wall, and the wing of the other cherub touched the other wall and their wings touched one another in the midst of the house, and he overlaid the cherubims with gold. I need a rare reader, please. Second Chronicles, the third chapter, and verse 10. Second Chronicles. 3 and 10 out of the Holy Name Bible. Uh-huh. And in the most holy house, he made two cherubims of sculpture work and overlaid them with gold. Thank you, reader. I need also, read reader, please, Second Chronicles, the fifth chapter, verses seven and eight. Second Chronicles, five, seven, and eight from the Holy Name Bible. And the priests brought in the ark of the covenant of Yahweh unto this place, to the inner sanctuary of the house into the most holy place, even under the wings of the cherubim. And the cherubim spread, their, spread forth their wings over the place of the ark, and the cherubim covered the ark, and the staffs thereof above. Thank you, reader. Now we're going to deal with the sanctuary, also called the greater house, or a holy place. Which which was which which which, uh, which is or which was the second compartment in the temple here. So in the top portion, which is called the oracle, the middle section, which is called the sanctuary, likely to the holy place in the tabernacle. It says. The sanctuary, greater house, or holy place, was 40 cubits long. I need a rare reader, please. 1 Kings, the 6th chapter, and verse 17. 1 Kings 6 and 17 from the Holy Name Bible. And the house that, that is the temple, before it was 40 cubits long. Thank you, reader. It says, sealed with fir tree, overlaid with gold, carved with palm trees and chains. I need a rare reader, please. Second Chronicles, the third chapter, in verse five. Second Chronicles three and five from the Holy Name Bible. And the great wall he sealed with fir, which he overlaid with fine gold, and set thereon palm trees and chains. Thank you, reader. It says, The walls were of cedar, overlaid with gold, carved with open flowers, and cherubim, or angelic figures. I need a rare reader, please. First Kings, the sixth chapter, verse 18, please. First Kings 6 and 18 from the Holy Name Bible. And the cedar of the house within was carved with knots and open flowers. All were cedar. There was no stone seen. Thank you, reader. I need also a rare reader, please. Second Chronicles, the third chapter, verses five through 
The seventh verse, please. Second Chronicles five. Excuse me. Second Chronicles three. Second Chronicles three. Verse five through seven. Second Chronicles three, verse five, six, and seven out of the Holy Name Bible. And the great and the great hall he sealed with fur, which he overlaid with fine gold, and set there on palm trees and chains. And he garnished the house with precious stones for beauty, and of gold was gold of Persia. He overlaid also the house with beams and posts, and the walls thereof, and the doors thereof, with gold and carved cherubims on the walls. Thank you, reader. It says, it had folding doors of fir wood, overlaid with gold, carved with cherubims, palm trees, and open flower. Open flower, excuse me, open flowers. Palm trees and open flowers. I need a read reader, please. First Kings, the sixth chapter, verses 34 and 35 verses. First King 6, 34, and 35, and 35 out of the Holy Bible. And the two doors were of fir, fir tree, and two leaves of the one door was folded, and the two leaves of the other door was folding. And he carved within cherubims and palm trees and opened flowers and covered them with gold fitted upon the carved work. Thank you, reader. The doorposts of olive wood were overlaid with gold, carved with cherubims. I need a read reader, please. First Kings, the sixth chapter, verses 32 and 33 verses. First Kings 6, 32 and 33 out of the Holy Bible. And the two doors were and the two doors also were of olive tree. And he carved upon them carvings of cherubims and palm trees and open flowers and overlaid them with gold and spread gold upon the cherubims and upon the palm trees. So also may he, so also may he for the door of the temple post on the trees in the, in the shape of squares. Thank you, reader. It says, the contents were the ten golden candlesticks, the golden altar of incense, and ten golden tables of shoe bread, all of which were carved with open flowers. I need a read reader, please. First Kings, the seventh chapter, verses Verses 48 through the 49th verse. First Kings 7, 48 and 49 from the Holy Bible. And Solomon made all the vessels, all the vessels of the pertain upon the house of Yahweh, the altar of gold and the table of gold were upon the shoe bread was. And the candlesticks of pure gold, five on, one, uh, five on the right side and five on the left before the oracle with the flowers and the lamps and the tongues of gold. Thank you, reader. I need also a rare reader, please. Second Chronicles, the fourth chapter, verses seven and eight, please. Second Chronicles. 4, 7, and 8 from the Holy Name Bible. And he made ten candlesticks of gold according to their form, and set them in the temple, five on the right hand and five on the left. He made also ten tables and placed them in the temple, 
five on the right side and five on the left. And he made a hundred basin of gold. Thank you, reader. Go to First Kings six. You there? It's fine. Now we're going to go to um, the porch, the chambers, and the courts, which were in the um, first, uh, see, first level of the temple. We're going to be dealing with the porch, the chambers, and the courts. It says, the porch was 20 cubits long and 10 cubits broad. I need a red reader, please. 1 Kings, the 6th chapter, and verse 3. 1 Kings 6 and 3 out of the Holy Name Bible. And the porch before the temple of the house, 20 cubits, was the length thereof, according to the breadth of the house, and 10 cubits was the breadth thereof before the house. Thank you, reader. It says, go to 2 Chronicles 3 and 4. It says, 120 cubits high overlaid with gold. I need a red reader, please. 2 Chronicles, the third chapter, in verse 4, please. 2 Chronicles 3 and 4, out of the Holy Name Bible. And the porch that was in the front of the house, the length of it was according to the breadth of the house, 20 cubits, and the height was an 120, and he, and he overlaid it within with pure gold. Thank you, reader. It says, supported by two pillars one on the right, which Solomon called Yeshin, that is, he shall establish. And one on the left, which he called Boaz, that is, in his strength. I need a red reader, please. First Kings, the seventh chapter, and verse 21. First Kings seven twenty one, please. First Kings seven twenty one out of the Holy Name Bible. And he set up the pillars in the porch of the temple, and he set right and he set up the right pillar and called the name Yashin. Yashin. And he set the left pillar, and he called the name Boaz. Boaz. Thank you, reader. I need also a rare reader, please. Second Chronicles, the third chapter, verse seventeen. Second Chronicles three and seventeen. Second Chronicles three and seventeen from the Holy Name Bible. And he reared up the pillars before the temple, one on the right hand and the other on the left. And he called the name of the of the right hand, Yachin. Yachin. Yashin. Yashin. Uh -huh. And the name of the one on the left, Boaz. Uh-huh. Thank you, reader. It says, made of molten brass, having two chapters, each five cubits high, place one on top of each pillar. The engraved decorations of uh, chapters were of checker, were of checker work, wreath of gold chain work, pomegranates, and lily work. I need a red reader, please. First Kings, the seventh chapter, verses sixteen through the twentieth verse, please. First Kings, 
1 Kings 7, verses 16 to the 20th verse. First Kings on. 7. You're right there. First Kings 7. First Kings 7, chapter verses 16 to the 20th verse. Okay. First on. Kings 7, 16 to the 21st verse, out of whole name Bible. 20th verse. Okay. First Kings, the seventh chapter, verses sixteen through the twentieth verse. Okay, and he made two uh, chippers of mock brass and set upon the top of the pillars. The height of the first chap chipper was five cubits, uh -huh. and the height of the other chipper was five cubits. And net and nets of the chipper work were woven of chain work. For the chipper was, which was upon the top of the pillar, seven, seven for seven for the one chipper and seven for the other chipper, and he and he made the pillar of two rows round about upon the one network, and covered the chipper that was upon the top with uh, pomegranates, and and so did he for the other chipper. And the chipper that were upon the top of the pillar were of lily work in the porch four cubits. And the chap chipper upon the two pillars had pomegranates also above over about the over about the belly which was by the network and the pomegranates were of two two hundred in rows. Or round about upon the other chipper. So that's it? Yes. Alright. And that will conclude this week's series. Until we meet again next week, I like to leave with these few words. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the precious kingdom of Yahweh Elohim, Yahshua the Messiah. Hallelujah.